You were on Twitter where you just said that uh, Prodigy isn't a good rapper. Yeah, he never was really a good rapper to me. Like, I like the shit he, I like shit he said, but just was like, I never knew why people would be like, he was some great rapper. I never seen Prodigy as a great rapper. Well, I'm a little older than you, mm -hmm. and I remember when Shook Ones came out. Oh, that's Mob was, Deep, right? That's what? That's Mob Deep, right? Yeah, exactly. With Prodigy. With no, Prodigy Mob being Deep. the main rapper in Mob Deep. I mean, they both rapped, but Havoc was more the producer. Prodigy was really yeah. more the rapper. But still, he was, man, listen, Shook Ones is beautiful. I'm, listen, don't, don't, get no, don't ever get it twisted. This is where people get shit wrong with me. I say certain shit like that, and they feel like I don't like nothing that the nigga did. I like a lot of shit that they did, a lot, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I didn't feel like Prodigy himself is a legend. I feel like Mob Deep as a collective are legendary. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't feel like prodigy. You know what I mean? That's that's no, that's how. I look. Okay, okay. I, I see where you come from because I I haven't liked any of prodigy solo joints. Like when he dropped his own album, I think it was like H N I C or something. Like yeah. I'm like, eh. I can't. I, I, you know, I, I look at shit it like this. Like, this right. When I think you got a legendary album and shit like that, like if I could yell, I'd be like, yo, what's, what's track nine? And you gonna know what track nine is? You know what I mean? Or oh, you gonna know what track eight is. Or you gonna know where the skit comes in at. You know what I mean? It's just certain things that you know stick out to you when when you were a legend or got a legendary album or a classic. You know what I mean? Well, well I I think that the Mob Deep, their first two albums were classics. Mm -hmm. Like Eye for an Eye. You know, it was it Raekwon and Nas? Yeah. Like, nah, Mob Deep is legends, man. I just don't. I just never felt like Prodigy was no like great solo nigga. Like like. You know, he had other projects without Havoc. Like, was they great? No. No. But, like I said, he was the main rapper in Mob Deep. Cool, so you can't say he is the good rapper. If Havoc was the, the producer. Main rapper in, in if Mob Havoc Deep. was the producer and, and Prodigy was the rapper, it was a marriage there. It's a right, marriage I mean, they, they, that created. Oh, oh, to, be, to be fair, they both rapped. Yeah, that too. Yeah, of course. But what they I'm both saying rapped, is that but, it's but a marriage. But you were checking more for Prodigy's raps. That, that's, it's a unisonous built that makes them. Legendary, but by himself, I'm not, who's I'm not going to a prodigy show. Yo, who's performing? Prodigy is the headliner. What? I'm not going to pro no. But but if Mob Deep was the headliner, you would go. Hell fucking yeah! What you mean, Mob Deep? Uh, all right, we in there. I'm not gonna go just for Prodigy. Like I, I'm pretty. <laughs> sure, I hope Prodigy knows that about himself, because some niggas think too highly of themselves. You know what I mean? He probably think. You probably think he more legendary than the group. I don't know. I don't want to put no words in his well, mouth. Well, no. I mean, at one point, like, like there was, they broke up. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know. And so forth. But from what I understand, they had to take a step back and say, all right, solo-wise, we're not doing as well as we're going to be doing as Mob Deep. So we Mob just got deep to is bury Mob whatever deep. hatchet we got, and, you know. Mob Deep is Mob Deep. Like, that's all I was saying. So people was like, really, even Charlamagne, Charlamagne text me like, you hey, talking about Mob Deep, talking about Prodigy, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm like, yo, that's just my... This is my opinion. I don't. I don't think that you know he's bigger than the group. I think the group is what makes them both legends. Well, well you had said that rap is the only field where grown men argue with young men. Yeah. Explain that. Well, it's a whole bunch of you know just a oh you gotta respect the OGs and the you know I think that, I think this genre maybe a lot of the young people don't respect the older heads. You know what I mean? And I mm -hmm. think some of the older heads want more respect than they deserve. So hmm. they, they expect shit from the young ones that they're not really supposed to get. And I see sometimes where it might get disrespectful and the line get crossed and you're like, wait up, young nigga, chill out. Don't disrespect him. He's a legend. Like I said jokes about LL and people thought that I was like, I said, I wasn't saying LL wasn't a legend. I was saying LL was never better than Jay-Z. That's what the fuck I said. You know, because he like blocked me. And I'm like, how the fuck LL blocked me for saying that? You know? <laughs> Okay, wait, so, so you say that Jay-Z is better than LL Cool J. Yes. Yes, what do you I, say? I would say, well, what do you it, it, say? Kinda, it depends on how far you go back, you I guess. You can't yell out. You don't, know, you don't know LL tracks through his album. You don't know his tracks through his album. And I know mad LL records, you hear me? I was an LL fan, but it was a point in time when LL was dropping and nobody cared about the albums, period. No, Jay-Z has stayed relevant albums. the entire time. There was never time. a point when nobody cared the Jay-Z album was dropping. Right, but here's, here's the difference. The difference is, and this, this happens pretty much every time in hip-hop, is that once a rapper becomes an actor, 
they can't really go back to rap anymore. Nothing wrong with that. Their, 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 their rap albums either. become relatively irrelevant. I guess I'm Tupac sure is an exception. I'm can't act. So LL got that on him. LL acting his ass off. Right. I mean, I mean, think about it. Like, who's checking for Ice Cube albums right now? Were you right? Who, who's right, checking for Will Smith Cube albums? Drop, but if a Cube movie dropped, I'd be in a the movie theater. Right now, now Tupac is the exception because mm-hmm. Tupac acted and then would come up with a with a, a huge album, and then went back to rapping and then come out with another you know huge album. Tupac is the is the anomaly, but pretty much everyone else because I mean you was could a almost era. really say that with like. Like, you know, Red Man and Method Man as well. And I'm, I'm fans of both. But mm-hmm. once they start acting, you kind of stop checking for their albums. You do. You do. You know, to be honest. Because I think, like, once you act, I almost think the mystique gets taken away. Ludicrous. Oh, another one. Characters. Once you start acting. You have, you have, when you like an artist, you have this one character pinned in your head. And it's almost like what social media is doing is taking away the mystique from artists. Because now they get to get their emotions out and say shit to the masses at once. They actually get the response of the fans immediately. Before, they would only know the fans wasn't fucking with their shit because they wasn't requesting it at radio or buying the album. Now they can literally see the comments. Niggas is like, fuck out of here, this shit is trash. And you like, what? You know what I mean? So it's like, it's too much immediate shit. So now you could be the best nigga in the world. And then the moment you start speaking or start getting on social media, you going, niggas like, oh, I don't like this nigga. I thought I liked him. Yeah. Imagine like Jay Z. We don't hear Jay Z speak much. Interview here and there. We hear him on his music. What if Jay Z probably was on Twitter, and Instagram? Maybe we wouldn't like Jay Z. Maybe we wouldn't like him. You I know see what it happen. I I remember when when uh, Brandy had a reality show and I got to see her personality, mm-hmm. and she was like bagging on her husband and everything else like that. The image of Brandy that I had in my head just kind of got destroyed. Exactly. And I just. I remember I just felt differently about her music. And I remember after that, people stopped checking for her music. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not no shot to Brandy. You lose, that, talented, you lose the mystique but, sometimes like, of who you are, like who your character is, unless you're just a, a super lovable character. You know what I mean? But besides that, a lot of people, the perception of who we might have in our head is not that person. And then you start showing who you are. You're like, no, but this is who I am. But we like, nah, nigga, we thought you were somebody else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, so, exactly. You know, and this kind of brings me back to our original point of younger artists not respecting older artists. Because, you know, this whole thing with Lil Uzi Vert that basically said, I don't know old school hip hop. I think Drake is bigger, bigger than Tupac and Biggie. I don't know a lot of Tupac and Biggie songs. And, like, a lot of the old school artists just flat out attacked him. Like, me and Pete Rock were arguing over text message for, like, three days about this. Where I'm one of the, the older dudes who really feels like, who the fuck cares? If you don't know the background... And you making your own shit, whatever. Do your shit. It's just music. It's just art. Uh, you don't need to know. You don't have to have the encyclopedia type knowledge that I have to do what you're doing and still do I'm it well. I'm pretty sure it's an executive at Amtrak somewhere that don't really know how the railroad started. You know what I mean? But, you know, like, you know, with little Uzi, you know, these dudes, come on, a lot of these dudes was born like four years after Bishop killed Raheem. So... It's like, you can't, you can't fault these niggas for, for not knowing or, you know what I mean? Look at the era they came up in, you know what I mean? Some of these kids was, you know, two years old on 9-11, like some of these rappers. So it's like, what do you expect from them? They don't remember Fab and Jay-Z dropping the same day on 9-11. They don't remember that. They don't, they don't know history or nothing. They, they just created their own new shit. And that's why it don't sound like nothing. I think that's a part of evolution also. I think in evolution, sometimes you lose the history. So now you start, you, you start creating new because you're not acting like the old. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what's going on I, I, with all I, these I agree. kids. I agree. You know, I, I think that a lot of these times, kids, if they was fans of LL and Jay-Z, they might be trying to act like LL and Jay-Z. Yeah. And that would be an issue right now because it's like, yo, yeah. put your pants leg down. Yo, chill out. Don't You understand what I'm saying? It's just different shit. So it's, it's actually, to me, it's a blessing. I don't want to see clones of these people that I love. Right. You know, because what was crazy to me is I just interviewed Tony Sunshine and he said, My whole entire career, every Latino that comes up to me to spit me a rhyme is spitting like if pun wrote it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if they're not spitting so, so they're, it, and they're doing that that fast, like right. And if they're not thing. spitting it like if Pun wrote it, then they're they're spitting it like if Fat Joe wrote it. 
That's who they can relate to the most. He's Spanish. Exactly. Like them. Because, they, because they know their history. Exactly. They know their <laughs> history. So they like, what punch? As soon as I say, ah, I just did a study the other day. I was like, yo, I told my, I told my homegirl, I said, yo, watch this. She was like, what? I said, watch all the Spanish people pop. I said, RIP Big Pun. All the Spanish niggas I never even knew follow me. Yeah, bro, that's why you a real one. I said, I said see that? <laughs> yeah. And I love yeah, Pun. Man. Pun is one of the greatest to me as far as rapping. He's great, phenomenal. He is, he is. But I think what made him great is that he didn't sound like a Spanish rapper. He didn't sound, he sound like, like any nobody. other rapper. He sounded like Big Pun. He sounded like Big Pun. <laughs> Then yep. it sounded like itself. Dead in the middle of Little Italy. Little did we know that we riddled the middle, man. Who didn't do diddly? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that was phenomenal. <laughs> we loved that. You know what I mean? Pun was that Oh, name. yeah. No, pun, pun was the shit, man. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of a shame what, you know, how he went out. I guess he was 700 pounds by the time he died. You know what I mean? Yeah, he said he had lost pounds. He said he had lost weight, right? And then died. And he, he lost weight and then gained it back. Oh. Exactly. He was eating well, though, man. It looked like he had a lot of lobster tails in his life, and that's all that matters. <laughs> if I could die off lobster tails, I'm with it. <laughs>